I am very pleased and very privileged to introduce to you the next Vice President of the United States, Governor Sarah Palin of the great state of Alaska. Senator, I am honored to be chosen as your running mate. Born Sarah Louise Heath on February 11, 1964, the third of four children, her family moved from Sandpoint, Idaho to the mountains of Alaska when Sarah was two months old. Dad was uh, gonna go up and hunt and fish for one year, um, fell in love with the state and, and never left. In 1972, when Sarah was eight, the Heaths settled in a sleepy town of only 400, Wasilla, Alaska. In high school, Palin was a true jock, running on her dad's track team, and her real passion, playing basketball. Were you good? Um, I was short, and um, good? I was quick, and I certainly wasn't the best player on the team. She was a member of this team that went into Anchorage and sort of Hoosier style, beat the big team of the day of the big city uh, high school. That same year, Sarah caught the eye and heart of the new kid in Wasilla. Native Alaskan Todd Palin. Todd was a basketball player too. Um, and I don't remember Sarah being the typical boy crazy girl, uh, but Todd did something to her. <laughs> Sarah graduated in 1987 from the University of Idaho. The next summer, Sarah and Todd eloped. And eight months later, their first son, Track, was born. Their daughter, Bristol, followed a year later. Sarah stayed home with her kids and became active in the PTA but she was ready to take on more. She was in a step aerobics class that also happened to have the uh, Wasilla mayor and the chief of police in the same class, and they encouraged her to run for city council, and she did. Sarah won that seat in 92, and on the job, Palin found City Hall to be a good old boys network, and she didn't like it. So in the 1996 election, Palin took on the three-term incumbent mayor. She won the race. Palin won a second term by a landslide. Then, the new Republican governor made Palin an offer. Frank Murkowski appointed her to the Oil and Gas Commission, and that's when things really got underway. What Palin found on the board was corruption and cronyism in her own party. With her own reputation at stake, Palin blew the whistle on her own party's chairman and quit in protest over what she called the lack of ethics of fellow party members. It was great drama. People were saying, why don't you run for governor? Not only did Palin beat Murkowski in the primary, she also beat a former two-term Democratic governor in the general election. At the age of 42, Sarah Palin became the first female governor of the state of Alaska. Sarah Palin is an extraordinarily talented politician. She knows how to communicate, unlike many politicians across the country. I will be honored to accept your nomination for Vice President of the United States. And the 44-year-old mother of five became the second female vice presidential candidate ever, and the first for the Republican Party. You know they say the difference between a hockey mom and a pit bull? Lipstick. Sarah Palin may have energized the ticket, but she didn't come without baggage. Perhaps the biggest blemish in the election for Palin was her lack of experience. Do you agree with the Bush doctrine? In what respect, Charlie? The Bush, well, what, do you, what do you interpret it to be? His worldview. As the one and only vice presidential debate approached, expectations for Palin were not high. But more than 70 million people tuned in to see what Sarah would do. Doggone it, let's look ahead and tell Americans what we have to plan to do for them in the future. In a poll taken right after the debate, 84% of the people polled said Palin's performance exceeded their expectations. I'm going to Washington to serve the people of this great country. In the historic 2008 election, Sarah Palin has been just part of the equation. And in the end, it is the voters who decide what Sarah Palin's place will be in American history.